Hello and welcome back my friends. We're playing Mountain Blade 2 Banalor as Griff the Insane and the Insane is of course then his clan name. We did the hideout quest, we actually had a quite a nice fight. Now we can still see that the hideout is having some parties in there so whenever you come across one of these hideouts make sure you check before you attack. Oh boy, yes. I am... Um, in one of my streams, actually, I attacked with my 8 guys, because you will get like 8 guys. 40. 44 is bandits. Yes. <laughs> you can imagine how that all went. I, yeah, well, it didn't end well. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm going to be gathering a few troops, uh, just so we won't be attacked by everyone, like all of these guys, like all of these mountain... I actually see quite a bit of these uh, forest bandits now, and those guys, I do not want to attack. Now, by right-clicking, by right-clicking your troops, you can open this uh, troop tree, which is very, very nice. And we can actually see where we would like to be going. And you have your crossbows over here, but I've heard that horse archers are absolutely, absolutely insane. So I would like to get a few horse archers and see if they truly are as insane as they claim they are. And what kind of guys are these? So they all have pole arms by the looks of it. Which, uh, I don't know, it, it's good against uh, like your cavalry charges and stuff. But I'm not sure about uh, anything else. But we'll, uh, we'll figure all of that out. So by clicking all of these troops you'll get all of the units that there are. And we'll just go around the world and figure out who, what kind of troops that we actually like. Uh, for now, let's just make sure that we do not look like easy targets. Also, by checking all of this, I'm not sure if it shows you right now. No, it doesn't. That is very unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that it did. Oh, well, what can you do about it? Nothing. Let us continue over to Poros and if possible I would really not like to be attacked by these guys because well that would ver very much end badly for us I can promise you that oh yeah seven guys with a bow wow did you see that those 14 they are troops 14 troops 10 wounded and we did just see one of those troops getting knocked out so let's re recruit a few more and let's take a look. Oh, there's some very nice horses in here. Oh, horses can actually fetch you a good price. Now, for your inventory capacity, horses is absolutely crazy. But also, the speed for you on the map. So I'm actually going to be getting these free horses. Let's make sure. Can we, can we actually flip these around? No? Oh, well. It's highly unfortunate. So... Let us make sure that we do not get into a fight during the night. That would be quite nice. Since I would like you to see what the hell is going on. So did my movement speed change? 4.5 still. Are you going to be helping those guys? That is what I would like to see. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. You are helping those guys. And they are absolutely losing. Oh, that is sweet. Uh, well, let's wait here for some time. Because I would like to head in. You you cannot actually head in like that. Oh, well, the fight just ended, of course. <laughs> oh, my. Yes, bad decision, my friend. We're fighting eight against seven. So, they're very eager to fight me. And we are definitely going to try and attack. This could be our very first battle. We might even fail. Everyone go there. And I'm looking for a spot where I can actually, you know, do some damage without me killing myself. So, we do need to keep in mind that we are quite skilled and ranged. Okay, oh, wow. It just almost, almost was that he was losing his gear over it. So, here we go. And slowly, we will increase the... Archer damage by increasing the proficiency. And I'm hoping that my troops can actually deal 
with the few looters that are getting in their way. And if I... Let's attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll have to heal up. Um, but we have a bit of skill in medicine. And I think that is a great decision. Especially if you're playing on realistic. Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Blade to the face. And Griff gained a skill point in tactics. And is now at sev 16. 17, I wished. Huh. So, the battle is won. And my recruits are extremely happy. Unfortunately, one was taken out. So, yes. We do get, I think, a few prisoners and some um, some peasants. Now, unfortunately for them, I I don't think I really am interested in peasant troops. Even though they are free, I, I kind of don't need to wait right now. We'll get those prisoners and you might say, oh, you just made a terrible mistake. Yes, maybe. Maybe. Yet another horse. And is this all better? The length is a lot less. Hey, we can get a one-handed, two-handed. Why not? If we don't have anything else, we might as well use it. We are not currently having a hood on. And the rest is just junk. So what I do plan to do is instead of selling everything off, I kind of want to use all the weapons and smelt them. There's another six looters over there. Let's take a look here at skills. Because we have two. And I would like to get one more point. Actually, no. Let's do two points in archery. So we have a learning increase of 11.08. Which is quite nice. And hopefully we'll get a strong pull. That's 15% longer aim. Or increase a readying skill. So you'll actually load a bit faster which both are quite nice so the next skill we are going to be trying to get a bit up is the um the medicine skill because i don't like to lose my guys now currently no one is hurt and these four abandons they are patrolling but i think you are actually are you following me well you're not right now oh yes and looters by the way are uh, having an insane amount of speed now we have six and that is quite nice. Hopefully they won't join in that battle. If they do, we need to get the hell out of here. Six versus six. Surrender and die, you brute. There is no bloody way I will let you live. So let's go. And hopefully we can actually start including or actually increasing our guys. Let's go over there. And let's see how this weapon actually goes. So can we hold it by X? No. So we could actually poke them with a stick uh, but of course we are going to be mainly trying to uh, level up our archery skill come on oh yeah ah just wait for it oh oh some of these wounds they are absolutely these guys are so tough i've seen one getting getting struck in the face and still he was running and eager to fight. Like this guy over there. Come on now. Oh yeah, that's two arrows already. He's not even slowing down. Come on. I'm sure you've all seen people. Uh, let's get our good troops in there. Maybe they can get some experience. Uh, but I'm sure that you've seen so many people use the bow already. Or javelins. So let's uh, grant our troops a tiny bit of experience there. And yes, we have won the battle. And so far, we actually had... No, we did not have any wounded. That is quite nice, I do like that. Uh, let's get another looter. And there is a upgrade to be done. Now we are going to be getting Imperial Archers. So let's press done here. Will we get a one-handed blunt weapon? Ooh. Hey, there we go. We've got some, uh, some gloves. Let's take those. And continue alongside our path. Yeah, they, they, they're still all dangerous. So, yeah. And we're at 66%. You know what we should do is... Let's head out over to uh, Poros. And we'll just uh, keep our party quite, quite small. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping that we can actually level them up pretty, pretty soon. To horse archers. Now, 
I'm sure that it doesn't work so far. So are we actually increasing in the medicine skill? Hmm, not really. What is this? Casualty rate survival increases by 0.2. <laughs> wow. Uh, healing rate as a governor apparently also increases. Why not? Why not? And the absolute, the surrounding here is absolutely insane. Look at this. I love that. I truly do. I truly, truly love that. What I'm thinking about in terms of troops is let's get around, I don't know, like 10. So let's enter the smithy so I can actually show you what I'm up to. So welcome to the smith where you can refine your hardwood into charcoal and you can actually smelt uh, all of these materials. And you can see already here that we can actually get five hardwood from this. And since I most likely am not going to be using this weapon, we might as well just place it down there. And do we need to get ourselves a shield? Well, it's possible. It's possible that we need, but... Maybe, maybe we can save ourselves a tiny bit of money. So let's go to trade. Now in trade, you can actually find your miscellaneous right over here. There's two tabs over here, your battle outfit, but also your civilian outfit. I cannot wear butter, but I cannot, and I can wear grapes, but looks of it. Uh, no. We can use a short sword. And this is what you will use if you are in a town. And there's some cool options that you can do in town. Uh, especially if you're quite strong, and I'm not right now, so we're not going to be attempting that. We'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there, and you might even uh, see me lose, because, <laughs> oh boy. We can also wear a, uh, a red dress, if uh, if we desire. Let's uh, take a look. Oh yes, that would be gorgeous on us. Griff, Griff with the red dress, why not? Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, what I wanted to show you is, you have green prices. Like these, like 55. Actually, 55 for wine is not bad. And you have red prices. So you have cheap and you have expensive. You can actually see we can sell our grain expensive over here. But I think we need to head out to another town to actually get some suggestions into trade. But for now, what we need is two hardwood. Let's buy a do done. Let's enter the smithy. Let's go to refine. Two is one charcoal. Let's refine that. Let's go to smelt. Since we'll get four out of the pitchfork. Let's do that one first. And my smithing stamina is going down. So keep that in mind. You cannot do that forever. Let's do that twice. And let's do smelt and smelt. We got a new smithing part because our smithing skill now increases to seven. Uh, where would that be? Smithing part. Well... It could be in any of these options. Uh, let's just do tier 1. And I would like to go for a two-handed blade. Since I know that these things are just bloody OP. Wow, cutting damage actually goes down. And increases. Yes, the handling will be a bit less. But, oh wow. <laughs> I like that. We can have, If we get some, um, some iron, that would be quite quite nice we'll uh, we'll just keep the wood and i will keep all of those crafting materials until we actually need them so let's make sure that we don't accidentally sell them crude iron all of these junk we don't care oh that's this card that's not what i wanted to do uh, let's press done here let's go to the trade and do by this is just selling all everything that is not fixed to its position well, by locking it is just going to be sell we get 132 out of that we had the troops here so that's seven let us head out towards um like karen yes why not and stop by some of these villages actually let's go over there uh, by double clicking you also increase your um, traveling speed to mountain bandits. Yeah, that could actually be quite nice to fight them. I hope they have better gear than the looters. Let's get two more men. Uh, keep in mind your, um, your food, your consumables. I believe you can also increase it. So this is our party speed, 5.48. And we have a base speed of 4.91. And the cavalry... 
is point thirty three and the footman on horse. So your footman will actually take horses. So I've been hearing people say, well, you want to have a mount for all of your people. I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of cavalry. <laughs> uh, I'll do it. Yes. Okay, let's head over there. Oh, six looters. Let's go. Oh, 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 rather not fight you if that's possible. And I'm sure it's possible. You just have to make sure that we keep running. Infantry, and there is actually a cavalry in there. Oh my. More forest bandits. The, uh, was there an update? Because there is a lot more diversity in troops. And I really do enjoy that. Uh, like I said, we don't want to be fighting those guys because... Oh my. Yes. So we can actually recruit uh, this prisoner... And you would be going into an, an Imperial Infantryman. Oh, well, okay. So you'll actually get into this range. I'm not sure if, um, if recruiting our prisoners like that would be ideal. We need to have Disciplinary Perk to upgrade... Oh... Where is that? Disciplinary perk. Where is that? Instead they say that. It's most likely here in Roguery then. No, it's not. Leadership? Disciplinary. There we, there we go. We just uh, saw it here. So, until we reach that, um, getting those guys... Is just no good idea. Okay, let's head out. Let's uh, leave and make sure we do not get attacked. Oh, you're actually going after those 29. Well done, sir. I'm very happy to see that you're not focusing on me. <laughs> yeah, it sucks to be them. So we still have a bit of money. Let's recruit. A bunch more troops, now 17. I think that would be enough for a while. We have food for three days. Let us go to the trade market. Ooh, horses are quite expensive here. I'm not really enjoying that. So we'll not be buying those. So here you can see, you can sell these for 16 at Poros. At least that is what they expect. And I'm sure we can actually get ourselves quite a... Quite an interesting trade deal over here. 41 for 92. That's doubling the money. Oh no. Let's see. We got 55 of uh, 58 for 81. Let us make sure we don't get too much of each. So let's go for beer. Now this is a consumable. And my party will drink some of that beer. Even though I would really like it if they didn't. So let's go with 8 or 10. And there was a linen. Let's buy four of you. And oh wow, we don't even have that type of money. So since linen is quite expensive, let's just do it like this. We'll just keep the beer. And hopefully we can actually maybe just buy a bit more. 55. Yes. Let's keep it like that. So let's leave here, and hopefully we won't be attacked on our way to Poros. Because that would be, well, that would make me cry. <laughs> oh yes, that would really, really make me cry. So the looters will not mo most likely not attack me anymore. Uh, even though we are still faster than them. Let's go here, and we'll attack those uh, other guys. So here we go, 81. Yes, it definitely it did increase... Did not want to do that. Can we just do it like this? Yes. So we'll get 896 out of this. And I do like that. And I'm sure we can actually make this into a very, very small trade route. Let's go to this. Let's see. Are there any, any normal prices? Oh my. 
No. Wow, this, this village is just not doing well. It only can buy in. Yes, okay. Well, that's quite unfortunate for them. But we will get a good amount of money here. Let's not buy food here since it's extremely expensive. Uh, what we'll now do is click done. We'll go to the tavern district. We have um, a potential companion and also ransom this prisoner. We'll go into companions a bit later. Since... I kind of want to keep this money and trade a tiny bit. So, yeah. I'll, um, I'll probably end up over here. I'll do a few fights. Not too many of them because uh, I don't want you to miss everything. And we'll, uh, we'll definitely continue trading and travel the world for a bit. As for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are going to enjoy this series. If you do, don't forget to smash that like button too. Make me aware that you are enjoying that, and also make the rest of the world aware that you might enjoy this series. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.